I would say I had uh, the best parents in the world. They had nothing, but uh, when we went to church, they didn't put dimes in. They put dollars in when they couldn't afford a dollar. They showed us the way. of George D. Bechrakis Foundation. This building was named after alumnus George D. Barakis and his wife Margo. Without their generosity, this building wouldn't even be possible. I felt that the private sector need to come forward and uh, fund some of the research. I wanted to support uh, where my parents came from. I was born in Lowell, Massachusetts. My family came from Mani, Greece. My mother from Italo, she was a Zarulea, Zarulus. My father was a Bechrakis. I grew up what was then known as Greek Town Law. Greek Town, we had over 20,000 Greeks. The mayor was Greek, the chief of police was Greek. The Greeks were hungry people, hungry for education. All the Greeks that I knew wanted to go on to college. My father, grandfather, I never saw my grandfather live for a short time period as growing up. He used to tell all the grandchildren, Prosecutis Tenacordia. That's a suffering. I always remembered that. Stress, anxiety, worry are your biggest problems in healthcare. I was very fortunate. I went to pharmacy school in Boston. I took the train to school, came back at night to home. I didn't live in, I didn't have money to live in. I started a, com a company from scratch, getting money from relatives and friends. I had a number of drugs. I also made major products for asthma. I had the number one asthma drug in the market for a long time. When I was in business, it's like rolling the dice. I'm either gonna make it, I don't make it, good luck, who cares? I can go back to work, I'll shovel, I'll dig a hole. Today they don't want to dig a hole. I'm a little different than everybody else. <laughs> I'm a progressive. I'm a middle road type of guy. I believe in a happy medium. I believe if someone's intelligent, let him, let him give him wings to fly. If you have the ability to succeed, you're gonna succeed, I don't care what your name. Papa Nicolaou, Papadopoulos, the Crackers, or anything else. Why? They need people like you. What you have to be smart enough when the time comes, why am I making money for them when I can do it myself? And that's what I did. I walked away. And everybody says, you said to the laws, even my aunt stole me. Turkha says, yeah, Turkha said, but I'm not going to work for anybody. I'm Greek. I can do it myself. Very simple. My philanthropy, uh, I can tell you, goes way back because I'm a firm believer that whatever I receive, I give. I'm a giver. To me, it's very easy to make money. Although other people have difficulty, okay? I've been very lucky. Imitichiros, as they say in Greek. Just happened that way. But remember one thing, when I give, there's a lot of restrictions that I give. A lot of restrictions. I don't just give and they, they pass the money. And when I built the Health Science Building at Northeastern, when you walk in on the top left, I'm putting something up there. And they say, what is that? I'm putting a bronze plaque. It's gonna show my father's house in Mania, my wife's area in Mitera, the Parthenon and St. Sophia Church. And a Greek cross, Orthodox Byzantine cross with the Greek flag underneath. Now, I had a lot of people try to fight me at the school, but I went out because they said, when you put a nickel up, they won't talk. But if it's my money, I'll tell you what to do. 
and they agree. And when you walk in that building, you'll see it. Do you want a tour of the Baracus Health Science Center? Let's go. This is our fifth year pharmacy students. They're basically learning all about pharmacy practice. And George D. Baracus graduated from here. At the Museum of Fine Arts, I have the Greek, Roman, and Egyptian wing, which is the most, the most, the most people go to see. Because of the number of people going in there, I had to put a Greek theme to it. You understand? And there's a Greek young woman who's the curator, Christine Condoleon. Those are very important things for the future generation. When you see young Greek American children going to the museum and you see that and you see a Greek name, let me tell you, they come home and their parents call me, Kitty Berraki, Mr. Berrakis, my daughter, my son. They're nine, 10, 12 years old there. That's what makes me feel good. Not the idea of giving them money, the idea of having Greek families going there and seeing that, and they're very proud. You understand? My big thing right now is in Greece in trying to help young people to stop smoking. We have a research laboratory in the heart of Athens, which has been uh, also uh, donated by George D. Behrides Foundation. We promote uh, material, we develop activities in schools, and uh, we are making a strong and effective intervention to the society to stop smoking. Greece was number one in Europe, the whole European Union in smoking, number one. My goal was to make it number four, number five, and I'm very close to it now. Next move, we're thinking about it. I want to make a Greek name I don't care if it's my name, okay, but I want a Greek name on a college, university, the arts, museum. I'm on the board of Boston Symphony Orchestra. I make sure that the Greek name is listed. You understand? The Greeks are highly educated people. Their biggest shortcoming is Herodotus said. They're envious, they're they don't do that, you know what I mean? I believe we need to get more and more people, like Mr. Kalamos who built the Hellenic Museum, very important. Those who are important, they will live forever. There's a legacy that the Greeks need in America. I, I believe in that. Other people don't, they say I'm crazy. Okay, good luck, you know? It means nothing to me. Hey, if I listened to people in business, I would have been a failure. But I did it my way, and my way was a successful way. Why? I analyze, I strategize. Without the heart, you're dead. The blood's gonna flow through the brain. But that's medically. In life, you gotta lose your mind. Socrates says we have two brains. Which one do you use? <laughs>